What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, Blue Fox 22 coming at you with more Legend of Heroes: Trails in the Sky. Uh, <sighs> Cut. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's jump into it. So when we last left off, we finished up some side quests, and now we're going to start our first main quest, our first job as bracers. So we can report. Okay. So that's done. So we are heading to the Prezel farm. That is west of Roland. So we're going back onto the uh, Milch Road. So it's this way. And what you're going to do is you're looking for uh, a branching path. And I'll show you where it's at. So if we get into any fights, I'm going to try my best to edit those out, because um, most of the creatures around here we've seen already, so we don't have to worry about, you know, any new encounters or anything. So right here is the branching path. Now if you want to, you can grind here, um, try and boost your CP up. Alright, we're good to go. Okay, I took care of that fight. So, you can um, just battle around here and build your CP back up for the next upcoming boss, but it's not necessary because they're not that hard. So, let's head on to the... Oh! Got caught there. Didn't see that cat bat. Cabot. Rat bat. Whatever you want to call it. Piece of cake! Okay, after that fight, we are close to leveling up, which is a good thing. Uh, I don't believe there's anything on the road, like off-road, around here, a treasure chests or anything. Ah, oh, there is one. Piece of cake. Okay, so there's a treasure chest here with a tear bomb. Not bad. Almost ran into that monster. Oh, nope. Keep going. <laughs> All right, welcome to Pizel Farm. So what you want to do is you want to talk to everybody first before you talk to Tio. Tio is behind um, one of the barns. No matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. So, there's not much here. Um, Tio is behind one of the barns, but I'm going to talk to the kids first. I don't know if I can find them. Where the hell are they? Ah, there we go. It's Joshua! Did you come to play with me? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun if you can't play. <laughs> Maybe later, if there's time. The kids here really like you, Joshua. Oh, Joshua, Estelle. Hi, Sherry. Uh, how have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Tia's outside if you want to talk to her. Oh. So she's somewhere behind one of the barns, but we're not. There she goes. She's over there. We're not interested in that. Let's see. Got the chickens. Okay. So, believe there's not much here uh, as far as treasure is concerned. So, let's go talk to. Uh, that's a window. Stupid. <laughs> it's a window, dummy. Alright. Come through the barn. Not much here. Hi, Mrs. Cow. Hi, Tio. It's been a while, hasn't it? Estelle? Joshua, too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here on Bracer business. We heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. Estelle and Joshua explain that they are here to do their father's work because he is away. You've finished all your training? That's wonderful news! Maybe you can help us after all. There really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? 
Regrettably, that's been the case for the past several days. Thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night. You're very perceptive, Joshua. Well, it would make sense if she said she's lacking sleep. Uh, t t whatever. Be better if you got all of the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. Alright, so we talked to her. You have to talk to her to basically progress the plot. Otherwise, you'll run into that proverbial plot wall. Okay. I think that's everybody to talk to, so let's head on into the house. House. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Prezel. How is everything getting on these days? Well, if it isn't a still in Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? What was that accent? <laughs> we were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Bracer Guild. Estelle and Mr. Brazil, uh, Estelle hands Mr. Brazil the guild referral, and Joshua explains that they are taking over for their father while he is away. Is that so? Hmm. But don't you think this job's a little dangerous for the two of you to handle? I agree, I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it, we're bracers after all. And taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out, our, out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Well, alright, uh, all right, then. Go ahead and have at it. Again, the accent. What is it with you and my father? Dad has a British accent, and yet he's not British. <sighs> anyway, thank you very much, Mr. Prison. Then could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a closer look at, w at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. As far as I can tell, three or four appeared at night in the our fields, gnawing on anything that they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. We've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Hmm. So they only appear under the cover of night. We'll have to wait for it to get dark. Then how about you taking a load off until then? I assume you'll be... You'll also be joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word! You bet I will! I'm a hungry fan of your cooking, Mrs. Brazil. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spreads a lot of- who spends a lot of time tolding in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your ex expectations. <clears throat> All right, so now we're on basically a night mission. Um, the way this is gonna work, in order to catch them, they're gonna be in one of three places. Um, if you manage to get a preemptive strike on the monsters, you'll get um, you'll get a bonus um, BP for the for this mission. But you wanna be careful because you can also lose BP each time the monsters run away from you. So. When we get to that point, I'll explain it, but, um, all right, here we go. Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is so good. Is that, is, is as good at... Estelle, did your tongue stop working? I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I feel really bad for Joshua, though. With the little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courteous and maybe even a tad reserved, but... If you get to know him, he's really a caring young man. The fact that he's not... 
self-conscious about it, too. Gives him points, in my book. You really think so? Think about it. With those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and lush black hair... Lady, calm down. <laughs> it's only natural that he'd be a target for all the young girls. I'm with you, Estelle. Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? <laughs> She's an airhead. Rumor has it that more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him. I heard that he turned them all down, though. I... I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should be... E how I should even begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this. But how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. Her facial expressions are priceless. If you were a boy, I'd imagine it, it would be a different story. But as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. She sees him as her brother. Stop turning this into ja into anime. I said Japanese anime. That would have been stupid. That would have been redundant. Anyway, stop turning it into anime. <laughs> huh? Why would I? Because he's technically not your brother, but even though you do see him as your brother, it would be kind of creepy and kind of gross, and that's probably why Josh and, uh, I'm looking into it way too hard. Anyway, still, you in there? You're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. All right, I'm coming. <sighs> I'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done to you. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Oh, all right. Be careful out there, Estelle. Yeah, I want you. That girl. She's either completely out of touch with matters of the of the heart or just plain dense. She's denser than dark matter. Poor Joshua. He really has his work cut out for him. Seems as though the monsters always show about this time. We'd better get outside and take a look around. Um, what? What's going on, Estelle? I've got to ask, Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you've come to live with us, I've always done everything... We've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now, and... What I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Estelle? So if there's ever anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like trouble with your love life and whatnot. What are you trying to say? N nothing. I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to, l to listen if you need someone to talk to. That's all. Let's hurry up and get out, of, uh, uh, get out there so we can kick some monster butt. <laughs> what kind of nonsense is Tio putting into that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Huh? Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So, Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first, and then move on to the field, stable, and greenhouse. We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go. So, Three main areas you want to check. Um, cabbage field, cow barn, and the house. The uh, hot house. So, let's go over to the cabbage field first. Um, let's rotate the camera so I can actually see what the hell's going on. There we go. Right. Cabbage field. It's awfully quiet. All I hear are the bugs chirping. Doesn't look like as if there's if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey Joshua, did anyone ever tell you that story as a kid? You know, the one about babies being born in a cabbage patch. 
Now there's another question entirely out of the blue. And no, I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. So the explanation for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? How about we get back to work? Okay. Stop that. That's creepy. What is going on? I'm Joshua. I'm Estelle. I'm Joshua. I'm Estelle. Alright, so we want to rotate that way. Come down here to the Calbon. Monsters here. All right, let's keep moving. And then we want to go to the hot, hot, hot house. Hot, hot, hot house. All right. So, hot house should be over this way. Should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the ornament sure gave the, this place a romantic ambiance. It makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You are definitely a dit, Sistel. At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. That's just me. <laughs> Psst, look! Boing, boing, boing. Holy crap! <laughs> it's getting away! Hey, get back here, you little furball! I can still sense its presence. It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good. Because it's about to get caught. Alright, so now's the difficult part because it ran away. You don't want to come at it from the front. Let's see if I can sneak and rotate the camera just a little bit. I'm gonna come at it from behind. If you can do that. Gotcha. I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts, so stay alert and don't let your guard down. For boss time against uh the 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 yeah just uh they're called crop munchers. Uh, I, I wouldn't have picked it, that name, but yeah. Alright, so HP 220 for the giant crop monster in the back. Or 200, and 220 for the little ones. Uh, why the little ones have more HP, I don't know. I guess the bigger one can deal more damage. But anyway, let's uh, start things off with the clock up. Oh, no, 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 no. Anti-sip. You can play dead all you want. I'm not gonna use it. Power revoked! Give Josh some speed. Kick ass! Alright, so Josh's strength is up. Let's see, craft. I'm gonna just use dual strike. I'm gonna just cut it down by 20. Don't use it on that dude. Alright, that's fine. Nice. Art. Clock up on me. Guess. All right. Since you guys are bunched up, time for a little fun. Hellgate. Good night, Irene. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, you're not getting away, buddy. I'm gonna take a nap. 
Stone hammer. Wakey, wakey. Boulders and bacon. I mean, bakey. <clears throat> Shuttle spear. And... Catch. You didn't catch it. Oh, well. All right. We're good to go. up nice flaky potato dirty carrot Ugh. meow meow mm. I can't tell what I'm guessing that's her dad my goodness the record of a brace or something else you kids have, out, uh, have done a fine job of rounding those little critters up. Teehee, it was nothing really. I wanted to ask you though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Now that we've uh, given these critters a good thrashing, I don't think they'll cause any more trouble. Okay... Still, how's that going to benefit anyone if we show these creatures any mercy now? We're here to do a job by exterminating the monsters, remember? But, but, in any case, we're here to do a job in Dad's place. If the same thing happens again, what will you, what will you have to say for yourself? I see what you're getting at, but, you know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so. What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know... If they're taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, Miss Prezel. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I, myself, am against killing them, too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings trying to survive in the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of these creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these creatures just one, just this once? <sighs> Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm very sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had to come, you two to come all the way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fences and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Then that's that. All right, you critters, you better count your blessings. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram! Meow. Peace. Well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? The two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Uh, you gonna close the door? Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the, hit the sack? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back there outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is, is all. Even now. I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. So times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. 
Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! <laughs> Don't you dare say th things like that about yourself. Uh, Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. And I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you, yourself. That sounds stalkerish and creepy. I've been watching you for the past five years, Joshua. I won't allow you to dis discard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm broken. What? I'm sorry. It was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what you said, understand what I said, or you, or me, I'm confused, but that's, that, that's what really matters. Estelle, did your brain break? Shut up. I'm broken. What? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. But why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're in trouble, Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. <sighs> Still, I... Joshua, you are able to lay bare your own weakness today. You learn to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I'm happy. I... I don't know what your point is, but... I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. <laughs> I've got a whole lot more where that came from. But how about we call it a night after all this endless running around? I'm ready to drop. All right, then. Have a good night, Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome. Sleep tight. Why, do you have a knife? Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please, don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place I contact. Come, ag come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again, when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation to you, Miss Pr Prezel. We'll definitely be back to take you up on that when our workload settles down. Your junior braces, your workload's never settling down. All right, on the road again. All right, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one! So, I'm gonna get back to town. No, Mr. Bug. Just no. Okay. I like keeping it like that. That way I know exactly where I'm going. So yeah, like I said, there's not much treasure and there's no new enemies um, off the trail, off the, off, off the path, so there's no point in deviating off the path all right so we are back in roland good morning how did the job at the farm go um we had a few bumps in the road but let me give you a brief report of the details joshua gives on your rundown of last night's events from at the farm payment received Prezel farm monsters Payment Mira, 1,000. BP gained one plus two. So we got two extra BP for that because the monster didn't run from us. So, yeah. Current rank is Junior Bracer, 8th class. I see. So you ended up setting the monsters free because the Brazil family requested you to do so. I think, it's, uh, I think it was premature on their part, but I don't pressure the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things like that? 
The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are all are, there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, it's your job to be able to discern these things. Indeed, our work has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. That's because we are an organization that deals strictly with monster problems. We're also we also intervene in when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving ability, huh? Seriously, uh, the road to be into the big league sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. <laughs> Well, when you only choose to devote yourself to working hard every day. And since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so... What have you got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs to a good whooping? Not this time. This next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Klaus himself. Really? A request from the mayor? Do you think it'll be all right, leaving such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. All right, so that'll be that. Let's check the bulletin board real quick. And we got four new, four new missions to do. All right. So we have Mushroom Hunt, Orbment Replacement, Medical Necessities, and Soldier Training. In the next part, we will do our mi mini missions first, and then we'll go on and go talk to the mayor. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. As always, I'm your host, BlueFox22, a.k.a. Michael Gardner. As always, stay safe. Stay healthy. As humanly possible, and above all, stay foxy. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!